All right, working on upgrading the lights again on the Tahoe. I have first two sets of these Dial Dynamics SS3s. It is is a sports, so I have a set of spots. In this box, I have a set of <coughs> combos. So what we're doing is we're gonna talk it behind this grill. In order to do that, remove a bunch of 10 mil bolts. Okay, so I got my four lights where I think I'm gonna put them. So I started making a wiring harness. This is the wiring harness. These. Okay, so I'm still working on mounting the, find the spots. Found the spots for the outside ones. But the inside ones, there is a lip here. I don't know if you can see it. But I took a Dremel and a sanding disc and took that lip off. It looked, looked just like this over here. But now these will sit more where I want them, a little bit forward, and let uh, a little bit more angle range on them so we're gonna set one right about there and we're gonna put one right about there and then you can see the the other holes i had marked actually i actually erased one right there there was a hole there so i drill those out and uh put some bolts in all right so i got my holes drilled i got my second wiring harness in there so we'll have independent switches for the spot and the combo lights. Um, I gotta go grab longer bolts so I can drill. Cause I drilled all the way through here and some big fender washers. Um, that way it doesn't break that plastic real easy. Um, that plastic's real sturdy. I'm not worried about it. I just and there's just, it's filled with foam. It's not like it's hollow. But I just want nice big fender washers. So we're gonna go get the longer bolts and uh, we'll put the lights in. Call it a night. Everything else is done. Wiring's all ran over there. So the switches are hooked up. Just gotta get the longer bolts, plug the lights in, put the bolts down. We get to go. All right, get one more update, probably. Okay, so I do wanna go over the hardware setup we're using. It's a three inch fender, fender bolt with a half inch spacer and then some fender washers. Sorry, carriage bolt and fender washers. And then we'll have another fender washer on that side and the nylon lock nut, lock nut, geez. And this will drop right down in like this into our holes. Kind of like that. And reach down from the bottom and tighten it up. Should be pretty simple, should work. We'll see. Okay, just wanna show you one more thing I'm doing. Um, these spacers, when they sit in these carriage bolts, even inside the bracket, um they're not wide enough to accommodate that square right there so okay it's all done that was way bigger of a pain in the ass than it needed to be you can see all four dial dynamics lights are in uh, okay this is before we aimed them but you can see on the hand on the switch right here oh, wrong button there's a combo there's a spot and now it's pitch black Oh, combo and spot. So I have to aim them still. Because you get real far away. Like, I'm only a couple feet away from the garage door. When you get far away, there's the regular low beams. They're very off. So uh, I'll do a quick video after I aim them. Okay, so we'll do another lighting upgrade. You can see we have the diode dynamics lights in the grill. We're going to change the fog lights to... Dynamics SS3 Pros. So it's on a 2012 Tahoe. Uh, so comes in this big kit. Get the light pods and you get the GM mounting kit with the wire adapters and the instructions and bezels. So first thing we're gonna do is take a seven and we're gonna pull the screws out of the fender liner, screw there, screw there, and those two tabs. And we should have enough access to get the fog light. Okay, now we got the fender loose. Let's reach in there. See your fog light. You got these three tabs. All you do is squeeze and push forward. Now your light's loose. So you can disconnect the. Come around, disconnect this. You just press down. 
and let's just pull off just like that. So I have this off. I think we reuse these on the Dow Dynamics bracket. Okay, this is actually unbelievably easy. It comes with this bracket. Looks very similar to the OEM light bracket. All you do is use the mounting screws to screw this black bracket in. And you can see it's got some slide and adjustment to it. We'll adjust it once it's in the truck. Um, then you take your wiring that came with it. Plug this little adapter from the factory wiring into the Dow Dynamics light. Literally, all you have to do is plug this in and put these uh, put these three clips on the back of those pins and plug it in, and we'll be done. Like it's so simple. Um, I'll swap those clips over and we'll do uh, another quick video. Okay, literally those came off super easy. Um, I think all I have to do is plug this into here. I should probably test it before we fish all the way back in there and plug that in. Make sure it clicks. And then slide that whole assembly right in like that. That's so easy. This is under five minute installation. Like it's so simple. Let's see if it works. My truck has to be on, I think. Okay. Fog lights on. And there we go. Okay, so this is gonna be a 10 minute job. So simple. We'll aim them and stuff, but really easy. I just gotta press those back in, make sure they seat. I think we're done. I think it's that simple. So uh, I'll do a nighttime shot with all the lights on, but uh, so simple as an install. Put those two bolts in, fender liner, and we'll be done. So I'll do a night shot later tonight, but ridiculously easy. Okay, there you go. All you want to do is make sure all three of those clips are seated in there, and they are. And we'll put those screws in, we'll be done. Super easy install. Okay, so I got them both in there. And this is literally the easiest install ever. Um, the last thing you do, you see on that one, you gotta put a trim ring in. So on these, the flat, there's three rounded sides and the flat side. I'll put the flat side up. Just clips in just like that. I'll shut them off, but you see, these are the uh, pros in the daytime. It's three o'clock in the afternoon here, and they're very bright. So there's headlights, there's fog lights in the daytime. So uh, I'll do some at night, but it's an unbelievably easy install. There's, you can see the bezel, kind of fills that hole better. Doesn't look great from the angle, but you barely can tell they're aftermarket. They look pretty pretty sleek. They're not sticking out like a cube would be. So yeah, thrilled. I'm gonna put these uh, little plastic clips back on this side and we'll be done. Really easy install. Love them. We'll do some night shots later, but uh, I'm thrilled. Thanks for watching. Okay, just got done putting the fog lights on. Um, SS3 Pro uh, SAE fog lights in the stock Tahoe location. And then we have the spot and the combo lights in the grill. So this is just uh, low beam Tahoe replacement bulbs um, from Amazon. They're just cheap uh, LED bulbs. Um, that is the fog lights, SS3 Pro fog lights from diode dynamics so you see how drastically better that is that's the floods I don't know if you can see it picks up especially way far off into the sides it's pretty good uh pretty good pickup and there's the spot under the grill spot is definitely worth it I might change the combos because I don't know if I like them enough to keep just that much light um, but the spot is definitely helpful. And the SS3 fog, the pros, the other ones are sports, the, the spotlight and the fog and the 
combo lights are the sport Dow dynamic sports so uh here let's go headlights off this is just the fog lights that's just the two replacement Dow dynamics fog lights ss3 pros i could drive with these easily okay so just fogs off i think that's the combo yeah those are the two combo uh ss3 pro sports and there's a spot you put them all together combos spot fog low beams high beams <laughs> can't even tell the difference but uh very happy with the setup so the spot and the combo are uh, not street legal but this is sae street legal and huge difference I mean, it's like daytime. It's very easy to see. The camera does a great job picking up. It's filmed on an iPhone uh, 13 Pro, and it really looks nice. Dramatically better than the halogen setup that came on this truck. Here, I'll spin around, try and get a shot over like a long field. There you go, let me adjust the camera again. Oh, maybe we should adjust it with it off. Okay, so we're gonna set, lock the AE AFE lock on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can see exactly what it looks like in real life. That's the low beams, high beams, which actually turns on the fogs too, so fogs, Lows, fogs. Combo, spot. So the combo and the spot do a pretty nice job on on narrow roads. Just narrowing in the, like where you'd see deer far away. But up close lighting is outstanding with the fog lights. So um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll link the products I use in the description. And I'm thrilled with this setup. So definitely recommend compared to stock Tahoe's. Uh, game changer, obviously. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.